I might have to buy a lab coat soon because I can't get enough of this dang old stoner science. I've been doing some different experiments lately with some pieces that I have. And you know what? While I'm not really a scientist, it's fun to get high and see which of my pieces might perform a little better under similar circumstances. Now, this is actually a topic I've discussed before straight tubes versus beakers. It's one of the age old debates among stoners. Well, YouTube's a bunch of jerks. And they age restricted that video. I don't even smoke in it. They age restricted the video. I'm not even smoking in it. It's terrible. I can't really put a lot of good content on here. But I was able to test out straight tubes versus beakers live on my Twitch stream the other day. I had a couple of different options. I had a 16 inch straight tube and an 18 inch beaker. They were pretty similar in size. Obviously the two inch difference in height, but the straight tube was like a little bit wider. It seemed like they had a similar amount of airspace. And then I also used a 12 inch beaker and a 12 inch straight tube. Both the straight tubes had two perks, both of the beakers were just like single down stem perk and the experiment was fun i got super high i can't really upload the findings i can't get my results up here my findings but we did upload the video to that green video website check out the link tree because all the dank videos are going over there but the results are kind of what i thought beakers are always the best bro beakers are on top beakers are king i've experimented with this before using combustion using like a lighter when i do my bowl hits but now I've been doing it with ball vapes, all right? There's a little bit of a difference when I'm using something like my turp hammer or my freight train. How you hit the piece or your approach to hitting the piece changes whether you're doing combustion or whether you're doing like a vapor hit. Combustion, the harder I pull, the more combustion I create, the faster the smoke gets in my lungs. But with vaping, it's, it's slightly different. You don't want to pull as hard. You want to pull as hard as the vapor's being produced but you also have to pull to produce the vapor. There's this like fine little balance. And after you've experimented with a lot of hits, you kind of get a really good idea of how hard you need to pull on each bowl. Well, the piece can definitely play a factor in that. The size of the piece can play a factor in that if you saw my 12 versus 18 versus 30 video. But simply using two very similar pieces or similar size pieces that were just slightly different. You see a beaker you want to tilt towards you. You want to make that down stem go straight up and down. That way you get better percolation. And then the mouthpiece is just pointed right at your face. Straight tubes are so awkward to hit. It's like, yeah, bro. I'm ready to hit a bong. I had to like stand up and like angle myself in like a specific way so I could show off the exhale in the video. And it's like, bro, with a beaker, I just sit here, I take a rip and then I can exhale. Straight tubes are a lot of work if you want to get like the maximum benefit out of all the percolators. If you have something with like two or three perks in it, like a straight tube with a lot of percolators, you want to keep that upright. You want to have it sitting flat on the table. A lot of those, you just ruin the percolation if you tilt it slightly, especially disc perks. Some of them just stop working if you tilt it slightly. So I was trying to go with like the proper approach to hitting it, tilting the beakers toward me and then getting over top of the straight tubes. But anytime I hit a straight tube, I can't get the maximum value out of the hit. This is one of the number one issues. You can't inhale as much because you gotta like, you gotta wrench over it. I, like I can stand up and do it and I still gotta bend forward slightly. I'm like crunching forward. I'm like folding my lungs almost in a sense. With, with a beaker, I can lean back. I can tilt it towards me. I can puff my chest out. I can inhale as big as I need to. Where it, like with a straight tube, it, it's not quite as simple. I have to either compromise the percolation of the piece or I have to compromise my ability to hit it in leaning forward. Like beakers really, really are superior. Any piece that you can tilt towards your face or something with a curved neck that just goes towards your face makes it way better i really used to collect straight tubes i used to love straight tubes i was like bro the more percolators the better and now i'm like what i just had bad weed i don't need that many percolators but now it's nice to be able to use straight tubes with like the turp hammer where i'm not doing combustion because combustion rips get your piece dirty straight tubes are harder to clean too another reason why i don't like them i like clean pieces but Straight tube's a little bit more work. Well, if smoke's not going through, if you're getting vapor instead, it doesn't get as dirty, so it is more reasonable to use a lot and keep clean. But still, but like, you, you can't beat a beaker. Beakers are, like, the absolute best. I think I have to do another comparison video soon on, like, the beaker versus the orb. I just got the orb, which is really just a ball, and then I put a hose on it, like a vape hose. And, bro, the hits on that are really, really big. Like, it, it's easier than the beaker because I just pull the hose around I need but you know what we just switched to the turp hammer so I got the wireless ball vape now I don't need another wire going around with the hose I don't know I might compare those soon beakers are better if you want to see the actual comparison and see how they hit check out link tree slash coupons I'll put the link in the description but go check out that green 
video website. A lot of dank videos coming. Tune into the Smoke Sesh. I get high every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link that to your Twitch and subscribe to me for free. I get that to Jeff Bezos weed money. And if you're trying to find out the best ways to get high, check out my updated tier list. There's a lot of dang old ways to get high, so this is how I rank them. Have a lit day, my dudes.